I'm going to show you how to create this Chris Uphughes inspired artwork. First, let's practice drawing a heart. One way to draw a heart is you could make an M like this, and then a V right underneath. The second way I like to call the candy cane way. So I just draw one candy cane, and then a second candy cane to bring the heart together. I kind of prefer the candy cane way, but if you're just starting out making hearts, the M and the V method might be a little easier. You could also make your drawing more interesting by having the hearts go behind or in front of each other. It kind of makes your art look like it has space in it. I also encourage you to draw a variety or different sizes, some big ones, some medium ones, or even some smaller ones. Try to fit at least six to eight hearts in your drawing. I did about six, but I think the more the better. You could even have some hearts going off the page just like I did. Next, you're gonna get this handout with some eyes and mouth examples so you can draw silly faces on your hearts just like Chris Uphughes. You don't have to use this idea sheet, but it's there for you if you would like it. I'm just picking and choosing the eyes and the mouse that I want for my hearts just from the example sheet. And I'm gonna make sure that I fill in every single heart with a silly face. And then of course you're gonna Sharpie your project or all the pencil when you are done drawing. Next, we're gonna make our artwork look like it's a watercolor painting. We're not using any paint, we're just gonna make it look like it's a painting. So you're gonna take some markers and you're gonna use the chiseled side. So there's a pointy side and a chiseled side. You wanna make sure to use the chiseled side so you can make really thick lines on just the outsides of your heart. So I'm not gonna color in the whole thing. I'm just outlining the sides. I would encourage you to use darker colored markers, so like the cool colors, green, blue, purple, red, orange, even pink should be okay, but maybe not yellow. Because once we add water to this to make it look like a watercolor painting, the lighter colors I have found don't show up as well. So again, darker colors work best, and the more color you add, the more color you have to work with and then more like watercolor effect is gonna work. So I'm gonna do that to every single one of my hearts. Then you're just gonna take some water and a brush to kind of make that marker run a little bit. So here's kind of where the watercolor technique sort of comes into effect. If this is not working right away, kind of give it a moment and make sure you're really getting into that color and moving it around so that it really fills in the whole heart. Again, I'm just taking my brush and my water and moving the color around. The last step, we gotta fill in this empty space. So I'm gonna take some paint sticks and make some polka dots for a fun background. I'm making sure that I'm gonna fill up the whole space with polka dots. I would think about doing at least 50 polka dots, which sounds like a lot, but if you use 10, or excuse me, five colors and make 10 dots with those five colors, you already have 50. You could even add more than 50 for an extra challenge. If you would like, you can kind of mix some of these colors together by overlapping the dots. So if we overlap red and blue, it makes a dark purple. Or if you overlap blue and pink, that would make a lighter purple. I'm just gonna continue filling up 
my white space until I have almost no white space left. Here is my finished project.